Jake Atafi is in his living room when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. A real demon sighting is caught on camera according to an uploader named Esoteric Boy. A dark shadow haunting his room. He lightens the photo to reveal a tall mysterious figure with horns. Strangest of all, the alleged demon has a goat-like face and no reflection in the mirror. Considering he has editing software, I think this could possibly be photoshopped. But if not, then it's time never to go into the room again. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Felicity goes in search of a spirit called the White Lady of Lancashire, who is said to be looking for her lost child. Felicity stands over her memorial, or rather her memorial stands over her, and she says the words which, according to legend, are meant to make the statue's eyes open. I stolen your baby. This push from behind is probably real because you can hear someone laying hands on her before she takes a step forward. <gasps> Felicity feels dizzy and immediately regrets ever provoking the supernatural. The weather worsens and the wind picks up this wail, which sounds like a banshee more than an animal. Felicity heads down the trail with haste and finds out for herself that the legends are all real after all. A shadowy form glides across the trail and then disappears. It's too far away to see for certain whether this was a normal person or the lady herself, so we may never know for sure. Just when you think you've got your fear handled, it starts to eat you alive. This is an Instagram post gone wrong. This woman has a voice like a nightingale and is recording herself to showcase her talent. But your focus is shifted by the strange supernatural mirror that magically appears in the background. With the camera facing selfie style toward the girl, at the beginning of the clip, you can see the space on the wall behind her is empty. She shifts, and suddenly there's a small mirror posted there. As she continues to sing, oblivious in the mirror, Strange reflections emerge and disappear sporadically, being as it looks like she's in the classroom alone. These figures appearing out of nowhere are more than frightening. And when she finally realizes something's off, she springs from her seat screaming. She flees the classroom. Where did this mirror come from? Who or what was being reflected in it? And more importantly, what did they want? Three bankers have a conversation during a slow day when the silhouette of a child darts across the empty lobby. Watch this part and try to translate what is said immediately after. <laughs> The lobby area gets plenty of sunlight, and yet the figure looks completely covered by shade. Not a single detail is visible as it runs by, which makes this CGI or a shadow person. And when they go over to where it just was, nothing is there at all. You never hear the door open or any footsteps. It's simply gone. While exploring the Royal Arcade in Keithley in the UK, the YouTube team Staffordshire Paranormal Explorers encounters an abundance of paranormal activity as they communicate with the spirits they hear what sounds like a door moving. We heard a dragging noise in here before, or possible footstep shuffling. What was that? They hear unexplained taps and knocks. Got two knocks? Yeah. yeah. As they continue throughout the place, a disembodied whistle or whisper is heard. Okay, spirits, we know, we know you're here with us now. And not long after, two thuds are heard. 
Did you hear that? Yeah. Later, a distinct whistle sounds. Whistle, man. In my opinion, this place is creepy enough without all the whispers and whistles, but the paranormal activity really puts it over the edge. While sitting around playing video games, little did this guy know he was about to be in one. Published by C. Sano Act in November of 2011, this guy was hanging out in the living room when he heard something from the kitchen. Getting up to check it out, he doesn't seem to see anything of substance, but something of substance knocks him to the floor. He's dragged across the room and out of sight. Is this ghost hinting that he should get his homework done? Or does this house have a serious poltergeist in residence? It'd be hard to ignore after an incident like this. A YouTuber named Adam the Woo is checking out an old abandoned barbecue restaurant in the middle of the California desert and picks up strange occurrences that are possibly supernatural. There are a lot of moments in this video that sound like voices far away, saying words too quietly to understand like here, for example. There's also a lot of electrical disturbances that happen for pretty much no reason. At one point, Adam calls out into what should be an otherwise empty room and gets the faintest of replies. Hello? Listen again and tell me if you hear it. A lot of people think that this was a female voice saying hello, but it sounds too far away to tell for sure. Perhaps most unsettling of all, however, is what could be a pair of feet in the stall of this busted out bathroom. This police cam footage was taken during a massive wildfire in Sonoma County, California in 2017. Officers are doing what they can to evacuate the public and restore order, but as this brief dash cam video shows, they were up against total chaos at the time. Listen closely and you'll even hear the dispatcher say that they can't tell which direction the fire is spreading and seems to be genuinely overwhelmed. I have to salute this officer and all of the other brave public officials who willingly charged into a massive blaze to try and help everyone. Rain pouring an abandoned railway house in the middle of nowhere. The scene is set for terror. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Exploring with Danny follows Danny and Luke wandering through the forest in the stormy darkness. They finally arrive at the abandoned railway house, which looks undoubtedly haunted with the lightning flashing ominously overhead. Once inside, they begin exploring. Everything is torn apart. Windows are boarded up, graffiti on the wall. Danny claims that back in the 1800s, more than 30 people passed away on the railway line outside the house. Those are shoes abandoned on the stairs. They head up to the second floor. In the bedrooms upstairs, there are still clothes hanging on the wardrobe. Danny asks any spirit to make itself known by giving a bang or closing a door. He might regret asking. They head down the hallway and find a strong lock on the door. A piece of the door has been broken clean off. They enter the room and it looks like someone has been living there. A wardrobe stands in the corner. As they look around the room, suddenly the wardrobe is pushed aggressively over, revealing a woman dressed in white with a pale face and dark hair. Hidden in the corner, she starts to approach them. Needless to say, the explorers scream and flee the scene as though their lives depend on it because they do. What's that? Conveying that thunder. What's that? What's that noise? Probably rats. Ooh! Ah! Ah! While this doesn't look like your classic unidentified flying object, it certainly is one. Published by Arte Morbid in April of 2022, this scary video captured something hovering over a street in Mexico City. Security camera footage shows a dark object floating down the center of the street about a foot above the pavement. 
While the uploader thought it was a Mylar balloon at first, a closer look had him second-guessing. He notes that it has a shadow and sometimes moves in a slight rotation. Some of the comments still think it's a Mylar balloon or a drone. Others think it's CGI. One commenter says it looks like it's morphing in and out. Do you have any other theories? I think there's certainly something mysterious going on here. If you've ever worked night security, human activity is likely the most you've ever had to worry about. Working security in India is another story. Published by World of Wildlife and more in January of 2018, this security guard couldn't believe his eyes when he encountered a big cat roaming the Mumbai neighborhood at night. Captured at nearly 1 in the morning, the security guard is seen sitting on a plastic chair Chair, probably trying his best to keep awake. The street is quiet. Just as the car approaches, so does an enormous leopard. The big cat looks like he's aiming toward the guard, but as he sees the car's light, the leopard rushes across the street instead and leaps up and out of sight. Wrapped in a blanket, the security guard goes to check it out, likely thinking he dozed off and was imagining things. After looking for the cat for a moment, the security guard walks off camera and returns with a big stick. The video ends before viewers see if he was forced to use it. But hopefully the leopard didn't stick around. The man was lucky the car showed up just in time. He could have been that leopard's lunch. A YouTuber named For Your Viewing Pleasure just keeps having paranormal problems caught on their outdoor camera. This ladder falls straight over for no reason at all. But you'll never guess what else. Motion sensor lights go off right before it happens. It must be a ghost or the wind. So the question is whether or not wind can set off motion activated lights. Apparently the answer is yes, but only if the sensitivity option is set too high. Since we don't know what this camera settings were, we don't know what was caught on tape, but all I do know is this would be freaky to see outside of my house. That's for sure. This is one of the world's most haunted hotels. It was a naval hospital during the 40s and once housed a morgue. Some of its most infamous guests never left. Published by Kelsey Davies in January of 2022, this paranormal investigator and her mom visited the haunted hotel. This is what they found. Kelsey first hears a child's voice as she's wandering the empty hall. I came in. I just heard a little kid. They continue to explore and hear more unexplained noises. Looks like a After setting up a paranormal device, it starts to go off. They use copper dousing rods to ask the spirits questions. They discover that one is named Lorraine. A short while later, Kelsey asks the young girl she's speaking with to trigger the device, and she does. The lights go off? Oh my god! They then enter a creepy hallway, and using a Kinect app on the phone, they see a figure standing there. Later, she says she saw a man standing by the door out of the corner of her eye, one that she's seen before in the hotel. If you communicate with anyone, no negative entities, please. Oh my god, I just saw a man. There's a man down here. I think it's the same one. And then the nearby paranormal device goes off. Is this ghost getting nearer? Here's hoping this spirit isn't stalking her. If you hear something at 3 a.m., pretend like you didn't. Otherwise, this could be the end result. I hear something. It looks like an animal outside at first, but it clearly isn't. I think it might be a skinwalker feasting on this person's pets. Is that what skinwalkers do? Better hold your pet close tonight. Another momentous visual history caught on live TV. 
The powerful image of the toppling of the Saddam statue in Firdo Square was broadcast all over the world, signaling what the Bush administration hoped would appear to be the end of what he started. Mission accomplished. Only, their involvement went on until December 18, 2011, so not quite accomplished at that point. The moment was one of the scariest and most powerful caught on live TV. Iraqi civilians, some of whom theorists believe were paid, and US troops came together to tackle the imperialistic statue, marking what was supposed to be a symbolic moment in the lives of many Iraqi citizens. On international TV, it looked to be a moment of spontaneity. As it turns out, it wasn't as it seemed. According to investigations on the matter, tight focus shots used by the media suggested that the square was packed when it wasn't. Most in the crowd were also not Iraqi, but rather, Marines and journalists. Moreover, the flag and sledgehammer were supplied by the US. The act was not as spontaneous as it was reported. The footage suggested that all of Baghdad was enthusiastic of the toppling of Saddam, but this suggestion was inaccurate. According to Peter Mass, a journalist who was at Firdo Square on the day, they were ready to latch onto a symbol of what they believed would be a joyous finale. It was an unfortunate fusion, a preconception of what would happen, of what victory would look like, connected at Firdo Square with an aesthetically perfect representation of that preconception. Despite the illusionary nature of this event, this scary and iconoclastic visual is one of the most impactful caught on live TV. Jal Bundy has caught some weird things on camera while exploring the forest outside of his village late at night. In front of them is the white outline of a phantom apparition that for some reason stands out against a backdrop of total darkness. When they rush towards the apparition, you can see it shrinks into a small ball of paranormal energy and disappears around the tree. Is this strange ball of light edited or really paranormal is what I want to know. I feel like this video could be real because it's late at night. They sound scared and those woods look scary too. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Marissa Rachel makes a ghost video update to show what can go wrong when you take your chances with a Ouija board. She thinks her house has been haunted by a ghost for a while, and she sometimes wakes up with strange marks on her body that she can't explain. First, a ghost in her room spells out the word help. Is this room haunted? Me neither. I'm not moving it. Well, I'm definitely not moving it. <gasps> I didn't do that either. Oh my, that's really scary. I want to stop playing. I can't see a string and this video is a pretty decent resolution, so one should be visible across the darker parts of the board. That still doesn't rule out a magnet under the table though, so maybe that's how this video is made. I know this plastic pointer doesn't have one, but maybe they've taped one underneath. Otherwise this scary video must be paranormal. Claire Julian has a guest over when they both notice her paper dragon wall ornament is swaying slightly. Zoom in and you'll see the very bottom swings back and forth, hardly noticeable unless you really were looking. There is no draft and the air conditioner is not on. They aren't sure what to make of it, so Claire half-jokingly challenges the ghosts to do better, which I'm not so sure was a good idea. You have to do better than that. Thank you. I was thinking that this movement could have been the minute hand of the clock hanging behind it, but Claire says that this clock doesn't work anymore, and now that I think about it, I didn't hear any ticking. Therefore, I think Claire probably has a poltergeist in her home, one that she should stop challenging. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.